So we're all here to give thanks and remember the life of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. As we mourn the Queen's death and reflect on her life, may we all take comfort that the same help and support that has underpinned the Queen's life is available and present to us this day in the same person of Jesus Christ. And now, I would kindly ask all of us to stand for a final We must accept that during those 10 years uh, were 10 years where the, 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 her government, uh, which was our colonial government, um, uh, arrested and tortured people, uh, the Mau Mau, uh, freedom fighters for instance, the people who are demanding our independence. And so there are mixed feelings here in Kenya um, that of course we must celebrate her as a human being, as a mother and a grandmother to her family, but at the same time we must also state the fact that um, she has never acknowledged or apologized for the atrocities that were visited upon our parents and grandparents when they were demanding their freedom. This carpet she gave us at, after the coronation, after the coronation service, uh, she ordered that a piece of the carpet that she used during the coronation be given to this church. It's a very special church because that's where she attended the, 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 the morning service before, uh, three days before, before, before the death of her father and that's when she became the queen. So we've been proud to serve, I think, uh, an exemplary leader. We've been uh, able to identify with the values that she has espoused uh, because they've been so clearly lived out. And we have a principle of serve to lead in the army that we've seen her act out throughout her reign uh, that has been inspiring. So for me, that's really, she's affected all of that service and of course my personal life as well.